Welcome to our channel. I'm Darius Grant of DIY Power Couple. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove a dishwasher in 10 easy steps. So let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is find the breaker panel and turn off the power to your dishwasher. Then you want to turn off your water. For this, you have to go under your sink and turn off the shutoff valve that is connected to your dishwasher hose. For some people, you have to go to your main water line or water heater inside your home to turn off the water. For step 3, go under the sink with your crescent wrench and loosen the line where you turned off the shutoff valve and place the bucket underneath to capture any water. The clear plastic tube is your dishwasher water drain hose. Use a screwdriver to unscrew it and pop it off. Then pull it towards the hole to give yourself more room when it's time to pull out the dishwasher. Now it's time to remove the kick plate. Usually there's two screws, but some units may have four. Screw the left screw with a screwdriver and then unscrew the right one. Gently remove the kick plate from the unit and take a look at all the parts. But don't be scared, we'll show you what to do next. We use this time to clean under the dishwasher. Now you're ready for step 6 to disconnect the electrical connections under the dishwasher. Unscrew the electrical box with your screwdriver. Disconnect the black from the black white from the white and the ground wire from the metal box. Straighten out the wires and loosen the holding nut so you can push the hard wire through the back side of the box. We're doing this because our old dishwasher was hardwired to the house. You may just have to unplug yours from the outlet. For step 7, open the dishwasher so you have access to the mounting screws. Unscrew the left side using a screwdriver. It should be very easy to do. Then unscrew the right side. Step 8. The leveling feet are located on the bottom front left and right of the dishwasher. Lower the leveling feet using your crescent wrench or pliers. Rotate the foot counterclockwise until the dishwasher is all the way down. You can actually see the dishwasher lowering to the ground. And do the same thing to the right side. Step 9. Now you're ready to remove the dishwasher. You may want to place a large towel under the dishwasher so the feet don't scratch your flooring. Make sure the dishwasher insulation doesn't get caught between the countertop and the cabinets. Hold the door and the top of the dishwasher. Pull and wiggle until it moves forward and is completely from under the countertop. Step 10. Now you're ready to install your new dishwasher. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate 10 being the hardest removing a dishwasher? I'd say it was probably a five. A five. Yeah. What was the most challenging part? The most challenging part was taking off one of the hoses. Okay, and what was the easiest part? The easiest part was actually pull, pulling it out. That was that was easy? Yeah. It was lighter than you thought? Yeah, it's, it's kind of light, it's top heavy on the side and the front. Mm -hmm. But it's easy because it's uh, pretty light in the back. What is one tip or some tips that you would give someone who's just first DIYing and taking out a dishwasher. Don't give up. Don't give up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I took my time and you saw me do it and so now you can DIY too. DIY Power Couple YouTube channel is your source to help you unleash your inner DIY power.